Every wipe in Tarkov is different. Many of the places remain the same, but the faces change, and the circumstances surrounding every encounter are unique every time. And sometimes luck can be a cruel mistress, but sometimes it guides you and leads you to success beyond anything you expected. You'll see what I mean. Now the wipe had happened about two days prior to me starting, so I was a bit behind, but I knew that with enough tenacity that I could catch and then surpass my peers. Epic pumpkin gamer. Nice. I'm gonna be Usec. What? Taylor. I don't wanna be Foreman. Foreman does meth. Uh. <laughs> I kind of want to be Taylor still. He's OG. Now with the wipe, all my levels, experience, and gear had been reset. All I had was the basic starter equipment that everyone gets at the beginning of the wipe. I'm probably just gonna roll with this M4. That's a nice gun right there. I next checked the traders. Nobody likes nor respects me. With all my reputation set back to level one, I grabbed the initial quests from Prapor and the therapist. All right, Sandra. I was off to kill scavs, then find shotguns and Salua medkits, so I loaded into customs for my first run of the one. Why am I scared? Oh, it's so pretty. Now I started the run by looting some stashes. I was aiming to get some gear and progress through my tasks. I feel slow and heavy. Honestly, anything's epic at the moment. Oh! I pushed down to a commotion at the gas station. My first scav kill of the wipe. Now every piece of loot was valuable at the moment since I had next to nothing. I picked it clean. Yoink! Alright, let's go game. Have one of uh, those. That was a bad name. Reloading! Big man down! Killed another player. I went to loot them. Mm, he was underwhelmingly large. Now with my pack full of gear, I began heading towards Extract. In a lucky break, the smuggler's campfire was on, and so I escaped the map there. A clean and profitable first run. Big! Nature elf stood no chance for Chad man. Bang! Bat! Bruh! Almost level three, I'm sure. I put away the loot I'd gathered, refreshed my ammo and supplies, and headed right back into customs for another raid. Just time. Remember, no Russian. We're gonna go this way. <sighs> a yoink. A yoink. How do you not know what squash is, you absolute moron? Enemy down! He's down! Not in my abandoned warehouse, buddy! <sighs> that is because. You don't want to get both. Ooh, yeah. ooh, baby! Welcome. Hold. Thought I could make the jump. Turns out I could. Coach, my body is injured. This man is of a. Of oh. a ah. yeah. I know Jack where he is. I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. Not today, brother. With a couple players killed, I quickly looted them, as well as a rig from a box where I could efficiently stack a lot of their items. Oh, baby! I'm losing food so fast! I noticed that since my metabolism skills were so low from the wipe that I quickly lost food and water. I was okay for now, but I'd have to head straight to Extract or I'd be in trouble. Fork it over, buddy. That's an Akigiri food. Up! I ran to the crossroads and escaped. I was two for two now with another run under my belt. I put the extra loot away once more, then returned to customs, hopefully to finally get one of my starter tasks done. I'm here to kill scabs, it's just I keep getting fat loot, and it makes my life sort of difficult. Shut up, clock in, and load up. Yoink. I'm going up there, this sounds too exciting to miss. Maybe, oh, that's at gas. <laughs> Looks good to me! Under heavy fire! Changing man! <sighs> Holy! I was severely injured, but I'd killed the other player. I now desperately needed to heal. I don't feel so good. Tis but a scratch! Alright, look at this! 
Great job, everyone. Don't mind if I do. Yep. I looted up my kill and kept moving. Oh, I, he was heavy bleeding all over the place. I lit him up here a bit. Oh, that's the boys! Rashala, the scav boss of customs, was here with his goons. If I could kill them and claim their loot, this would put me in a great position so early in my wipe. Looking like Operation Doink the Boys is a go, to be totally honest. I think I bopped him. That... Nope, that's Rashala. Now, I slightly change the angle. Oh, and they're just gonna head doink me if I'm not careful. Why won't you die? Okay, one down. I was picking off his armored guards by maneuvering between different positions and flanks. Got me back. He is a very angry. I forgot that my ammunition was weak, but this early in the wipe, I had no other options. No! What's in this? Rashala was right there. I managed to kill him. Now the loot on his body was underwhelming, but still very solid for someone in my position. Welcome back. There were a few goons left. I had to finish them off, then loot them. I'd made quite the commotion here. That's gonna heal right up. You know, I'll put them on this guy and then I can come back for him. I looted up the remaining Rashala guards and got some fairly high tier loot, including an Alton helmet. With this equipped, headshots with low caliber ammo would bounce right off me. And then, if I made it out, I could sell this for a fortune on the flea market once I hit level 10. You really can't hear a damn thing in this. My vision narrowed by my fortified helmet, and with time ticking down, my heart was racing. Ho, 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 ho. I'd made it out. Three raids, three extractions, and this time loaded with loot. That was a gamer run. In that run, I used the entire CMS kit. My wipe was off to an excellent start. I had never had one begin so smoothly. I next talked to Skier and the mechanic and picked up some more quests from both of them. All right. Now I wanted a bit of a change of pace and some more money, so I headed into reserve. A dangerous map, but one where I could find some much needed quest items, plus get some good gear. I lightly modded out one of the AKs I'd found and headed in. Oh, I should be... I pushed up to one of the barracks and immediately found conflict. He hacked me up. He's got a doinker of a gun. What up? Oh! I killed a well-geared player. Nice. Big man, big man. Big man, excuse me, big man. Oh. Now someone had hit the alarm which opened the hermetic bunker extract. I decided I would piggyback off this and began heading to extract there now. Another player was camping the bushes at the top of the first bunker. Drag out! I noticed that due to my stomach injuries at the start of the run, that my hydration was now getting very low. I doubled back to continue looting and hopefully find water. I need to get some water. I'd found no water. The situation was getting dire. I needed to find some soon or I'd be in big trouble. I'm gonna have to be spam healing. This sucks, man. I finally found some much needed provisions in one of the basements. Probably. Oh. Now a moment later while scavenging, I heard the train announce its arrival. I could extract on the train. I now had five minutes to get on it. Oh, Raider 100%. Bro, are you serious? What are you doing, Step Raider? 
red pants? What's going on there, Chief? Yoink and joint. All right, let's skadoodle my noodle. After looting the raider, I darted down the hill to the train station. Please, man, let me in, dude. I sprinted onto the train, and then moments later it departed. Another safe extraction. Boop. Stand clear of the closing doors. This is going well. Probably just jinxed it saying that, but... I next sold off some of the goods I'd gotten to the traders and then upgraded my hideout. The poop bucket is back! Oh yeah, we want this. A door! Now I decided my next raid would be the woods. I needed to find a document by Jaeger's hunting outpost and then bring it to the mechanic to unlock Jaeger as a traitor. So I headed in. What? Now Woods had gotten a large expansion this way, so I was unfamiliar with a significant portion of the map now. I heard there were landmines, so... I began my run by looting a bunker. This is sick. Is this safe down here? This is a far nicer bunker Welcome. than the other ones. Whenever someone tells you there's treasure and something you're looking for there, you don't follow them. I learned that playing RuneScape in like th third grade. A guy named Michigan12 told me if I followed him, he would get me lots of gold. You see, this was a time before RuneScape was the Care Bear game it is now. When you went to the wilderness, you got a little thing that popped up for a Welcome second and said, back. you're about to enter the wilderness. And then there was a bunch of text, and I was like, Whatever, I don't care. He probably said, don't worry about it. I follow Michigan 12 out into the wilderness. He's like, oh, we're almost there. It's getting creepier and darker. There's dead trees everywhere. All of a sudden, he turns around and just just starts smacking me. And, and he is he's a high level. I, I'm getting hit for so much damage. So if I ever find Michigan 12 again, it's been a very long time, but I've not forgiven him. Some players had arrived. I retreated from the conflict due to my lack of experience in this new area of the map. Two players, yeah. This is bringing back old Tarkov feels. That terror of not knowing where is what and just, you know? I know exactly what you mean. I wandered more through this new area, locating new points of interest. Hello. I continued exploring this new region, eventually winding my way back to areas I recognized. And I guess this is like the middle of the map now. What is this? He did not look looted, and he looked like he had a bit of heft to him. If I die, I die. I'll accept it. I looted the dead body I'd found, then headed over to collect the task item at the hunting outpost. I, I've never understood why you do that. You like stand up, then you go like, what is that? With the quest item now acquired, I wanted to safely extract to complete the task. Level 2 health! I'm a healthy man! Ooh. Ooh. Well, okay. Another escape. Things were going well. I started hitting him a lot, though. I just probably ruined that guy's run. And then just ditched. <laughs> That's so cheeky. <laughs> Let's talk to Mechanic Man. Now I still had to get Prapor's bronze pocket watch in customs, as well as explore a new specific area in the woods. So I returned back to the woods to knock out that task first. Back to woods! Huh? What was that noise? This, this is just not good, folks. Wait, I'm here! Big business! This is where I need to be. Oh, I just need to go here. Oh, no. Knowing very little about the new area was certainly a spooky feeling. Reloading! Uh. it down! Ooh. I went to loot the two players I'd killed. Now, I first located where the convoy had been ambushed. Camp should be right here. Oh, I'm a gamer. I then did some looting at the USEC camp nearby and completed my exploration of that area. Boom! Now I just needed to survive and extract. Tango down. Great.
A scav I'd killed had both a Taz shotgun and a 3M armor, the two items that I needed to find in raid for my current task with Skier. Two quests. I extracted safely, then went first to hand in the items to Skier. Whew, we're getting too fat with loot. I completed both the Skier and the Prapor quests, and then picked up a new customs task from the Skier. Unexpected. Bro, I brought you a Taz in baby armor. So six raids. Now I was six for six on runs this far. This was certainly the best and luckiest start I'd ever had. Ah, he said it, he said it. I next headed back in a customs to work on the two tasks. Welcome, welcome. That was perfectly timed. Welcome. Oh, I just dropped him. I pushed up to loot the player I'd shot. Gamer down. While looting, I heard footsteps. Oh, we traded, I think. My first death of the wipe, but at least I'd taken the other player out as well. A martyrdom of sorts. It had to happen sooner or later. But I took that bastard down with me, brother. We've been hanging and banging, brother. So next, I decided to try to complete my tasks on customs again. I loaded up an SKS that I'd found in the woods and ventured back into customs. Why does this gun look weird? What the hell? Well, they're roasting, at least. This is a juicer of a run. There was a lot of shooting up by the electrical substation, so I went up there to compete for some loot. Granada! Another one. Welcome back to the deck. I dropped him. I killed what looked like the sole survivor of the fight that had happened here. I scouted around the substation and found a lot of dead bodies. I had perfectly third-partied this little conflict. I grabbed up everything I could, a lot of backpacks, guns, and assorted gear, and then began moving to the extract. Big man. I had way too much loot and injuries to worry about doing any tasks this run. They could wait. Oh, oh my god, I scared myself. A little jittery. The smuggler's campfire was on, and so I escaped there. A quick, yet very profitable run. And I got a Narnia of Burkuts. Now I had been neglecting my scav raid, so I decided to do one and headed into customs. Now I couldn't complete tasks on my scav, but hopefully I could just get some loot. All right, I better have a freaking do- Oh, found in raid Salua, that's big. I spawned with a Taz shotgun and began moving. That's a regular scav. I'm fast as boy. <laughs> Oh, very valid and good point. It's not. Why did I shoot that? Why did I shoot right there? Bop. Please die. I looted up my kills and then decided to escape with what I had you got, brother. I might just noodle on out of here. I extracted at the old road gate without issue. I then put away the gear and decided to return to customs once more on my PMC to complete the two tasks I had. I rolled with an iron sight SKS with some strong BP ammo. Uh, I began my run by heading to dorms. Anybody in the dorms? Another player was here. He's riding! This guy is riding. The other player was still lurking, and they were being quite sneaky, slinking through the hallways. I had to flush them out. I think he's in there. Oh my god, this little rat. Got you, you little rat! We definitely did a little bit of a dance there. With both other players dead, I looted up my kills. They'd had decent gear, and my pack was now quite full. But I wanted to get these tasks done. I was not leaving again without them completed. <sighs> oh, what's going on? Why did I suddenly start? Am I out of water? Now, I realized that I had entered the run without full hydration, so I was now slowly losing health since my water level had reached zero. Please, no shit. No shit. No shit. 
grabbed Prapor's pocket watch. I now had my first task item, but I still desperately needed water. I was currently spamming meds to heal through it, but that couldn't last forever. Take him out quietly, or just let him pass. Honestly, I went to the fortress to hunt for anything I could consume to increase my hydration levels. A car battery on the ground. This was a very valuable find. I made some room and stuffed it in my backpack. I'd had no luck finding any water, so I kept hunting. This is bad. I shouldn't do that, right? The only liquid that could further dehydrate me. The universe was conspiring against me. Of course I get whiskey, dude. Now I was close to where I needed to grab the document for Skier. And even in my dehydrated state, I was gonna go for it. Hello there. Grabbed the document and darted back to cover. I gotta go. I need a medic here. I rifled through a jacket inside a warehouse, still looking for something to drink. Yes! Oh my god! What luck. An energy drink. This bought me some time, but I still had to get out with what I'd grabbed. pushed out the back of the warehouse to head to the extract. Time was now not on my side, but I sprinted down the road, between the warehouses, and then finally through the industrial area to reach where I could escape. Oh, I'd done it. I was out. That was good stuff! Let's go talk to the boys. I completed both my tasks, and the experience pushed me over the edge from level 9 to level 10. And I'm level 10! I could now access the flea market and finally sell all the stuff I'd been saving for this moment. A milli! With a fresh million rubles and high hopes for the future, this beginning had been the dream. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm currently live streaming on my Twitch. Come say hi. Also, go follow my Twitter and my Instagram. I sometimes post sneak peeks of videos on there. And go follow my thumbnail artist too. This has been your friend Wellen, ending another adventure. I'll see you all next time.